Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Friday, the 5th of November 2021. So Guy Fawkes Day today. Shame he's still not around to actually take care of what's going on in London, but hey-ho, you can't uh, have everything. Meanwhile, in the markets, uh, big tech bonds, uh, bullion and the dollar all bid as taper tanks uh, real yields. Nasdaq is the most overbought in 14 months and it didn't end well the last time. Now we are due for a correction but of course we have the non-farm payrolls today. Uh, speaking of uh, London, uh, the Bank of England uh, resist pressure to raise interest rates as inflation spike looms. Well there you go, talk about uh, a paradox, uh, inflation is running rampant and they can't even raise rates by even a token gesture of 0.1%. So, uh, yeah, it just shows you how fragile the system is, doesn't it? Meanwhile, in the implied volatility, uh, we made a new low yesterday. We're still coiling, as you can see there, in a very tight range. Uh, we're seriously overbought in the markets that we know and due for a correction. And the implied volatility is also uh, pointing at this as well. But, of course, today, the market's waiting for this uh, number here, the non-farm payroll uh, last month it came out at 194,000. Uh, they're forecasting 455. That's going to send the dollar charge into the upside if it comes out above this or anywhere near this number. Uh, the metals will get slammed, uh, even if it's temporary, and um, the stock market will go on to make another new all time high, of course. That is uh, guaranteed. So let's have a look at yesterday. Very quiet day for. Uh, the uh, market so uh, we did have some uh, selling pressure coming into the market there there's some supply for yesterday in the Dow and what I mean by this is that the range of yesterday's bar from the high to the low is less than the previous days but the volume 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 the volume is uh, greater than the previous day so it's showing there's some resistance to move to the upside but of course that could all change with the non-farm payroll figures due out like I say, at 12.30 today. And Monday we go back to normal um, with regards to news items, etc. because the US actually put their clocks back uh, this weekend. So yeah, quiet day yesterday for the Dow. Um, 150 points down, uh, market then bouncing, then retesting before it came back. So stuck in a range and overnight you can see it's already waiting for the news of the non-farm payroll figures. Let's have a look at uh, the DAX. And this the same, actually. We've got supply for two days here. The market's been moving to the upside, but uh, struggling to make those new all-time highs. And the volume has been increasing. So there is uh, some supply coming into the top of the current uh, move in the DAX, as uh, we can see here. And again, it's so overbought. You can see here the market uh, closing above the five bar moving average and uh, just keeps moving to the upside but at some point you've got to have some sort of a correction uh, as you can see here the previous occasion we had two uh, supply bars uh, the market had a, a run to the downside but they soon uh, brought it back so again we could have that same thing just have to uh, wait and see like i say the market is waiting for the uh, non-farm payroll figures so yesterday you can see how quiet it was it was a 50 point range which is really quiet. And overnight, of course, we've barely managed uh, 20 points. So really quiet uh, for the DAX. And very choppy at the open yesterday as well. We had uh, two signals there that uh, both were losses, but then eventually the market did break and move down to uh, recoup some of them. But uh, then the market just sat sideways and then started to move back to the upside as it uh, normally does. The afternoon was interesting as well. We had a bit of a, a move to the downside as the Dow moved lower, but uh, they soon brought this back and moved the market higher. We then got uh, an 89% retracement, uh, which uh, took a, a short uh, and still have at the moment. I've held this one overnight uh, at the moment, but I have to make a decision because of the non-farm payrolls. Otherwise, I would hold... Um, it just depends or I may just give up the profit and, and see if it comes back I don't know but uh, yeah it was just a gift yesterday because we were at uh, the new all-time high and it was struggling again you can see we've got a triple top in there as well and the same as we had a double top in there 
So there was weakness around uh, and eventually it uh, broke to the downside. But then, as uh, with these markets, they come back, uh, as you'll see on the overnight, uh, starting already to uh, find some support and wanting to make its way back to the upside. And like I say, the issue for me is uh, that uh, we've got uh, the non-farm payrolls and I keep going on about it, but it uh, seems to be all over the news. Uh, the, the financial news as well. It's a very important number apparently for October. I don't know why, I'd have thought they were all important, but uh, October in particular. Meanwhile, and finally in the metals, I'm uh, surprised that uh, the silver price was allowed to move higher yesterday. I welcome it, but also I wouldn't have minded if they wanted to slam it back down. As I said before, I'd been quite happy to buy more at a lower price, but uh, we have demand in this market uh, for uh, Wednesday, Thursday, the market also uh, putting in uh, quite some decent volume. They did move the market uh, lower, as uh, you'll see here, after uh, moving to the upside. And there's a reason for that, which I'll show you in just a moment. And I'm surprised they didn't really hammer the price to the downside. Uh, but you can see uh, all the way through yesterday morning, after recording the market alert, uh, they allowed the price of silver to move up until uh, mid, uh, well, just after lunch, and then they uh, brought the market back. Uh, but overnight, uh, price is fairly stable there. If you have a look at it in the 30 minute, uh, you can see exactly what uh, has been going on where they brought back in on uh, Wednesday. You see that there. And then driving price is higher. And then uh, yesterday as well, which uh, I'm very, very surprised by. Maybe they're getting uh, ready to switch sides on this and allow it to move to the upside. And the reason I say I'm surprised that they only allowed it to come back at 20 cents is because of this yesterday. You can see their massive move in the dollar uh, for yesterday. This is the Fed's FOMC uh, minutes on Wednesday evening. And then the dollar has managed to uh, move all of this great distance, as we can see, back to 89% in the daily chart. And uh, silver didn't sell off, which I'm really surprised by. Gold the same, this also moving back to the upside as well. And it looks like a 62% retracement from here back to here at the moment. So let's just draw that in. Yeah, we're just on 62%. It's amazing how your eyes get used to seeing these areas of support. And it's not difficult really, is it? Because uh, if you look at this high, this low, uh, you know, ballpark, you could work out where 50% is and then you can see the other areas as, uh, above this and just I say sort of eyeball them and work out where they're going to land just something you just get familiar with but a very powerful tool and uh, again you don't really need the fib retracement tool I just put it on here obviously to make things easy so I can see where the resistance levels are if I'm trading that particular market so like I say the market's waiting for this it's a big one and uh, we'll see what happens at 12.30 when this is released. Okay, have a great weekend. And uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.